Game 5. I am honored to be here with Sindarin. I'm Toby One, and this crowd is getting behind the local heroes. It is Virtus Pro. Who will, will it be the VP draft? Will it be the OG draft? Will it be the VP players? Will it be the OG players? Many, many questions, and that's the reason why I'm here with Sin. And Sharko was just used by Nota to force out the mid lane, so, yep, the Weave will give the vision instead. That's the power of OG. They had it with the Batrider before. This time it's the power of the Dazzle. Timber chain forward, looking for the damage with the Sharkram. They push him around, there's no tail. There's a jump forward, the Hawk stop. It connects on the OG. They're gonna kill him off. This is a big fight game. They can keep the contesting there. The Rock will fall from Warlock, combining with the Battle Bonds. You're a crazy little bit more space with the Overgrowth. The damage from no tail is huge, but not enough. No one is just doing his work. He survived through this. He wants one more hit on no tail. Solo actually gets the kill because of the fatal bonds, he got hit by the ancients, and four heroes go down for OG. And this will allow Virtus Pro to take Roshan. Frontline tank, he is the sponge of Virtus Pro that can keep draining himself through chemical rage. In he comes, the shark runs out, the hoof stomp's done. Will it be enough? Yes, it is. On top of no one, the charge forward, no tell once kills. The intelligence, though, is up to 24 and eclipses the Babylon drop. S4, the Jellic Grave will keep him alive. Jiro has got a little bit of space. Remember, he's the one carrying the gem pass. We'll duel him up, bring him down. No tell as well will fall. Oh, gee, they're falling apart. The Aegis Simona will burn. Troll Warlord back into the fight, but Ramsey's the stun is available. No BKB available for the Troll Warlord. Lil pounding him down. You have a small chance of victory. Actually, no, you don't. Anna, you're toast. Burnt toast. Yeah, will be fatal. Ramsey's could be the siege vehicle. He's still not that tanky health wise. They're he leaving. Jirax, he found a target. The Weave actually gave a little bit of vision, but he wants to punch into Ramsey's. Jirax doesn't actually get the bash, however. Concoction's preparing the rock with the Fatal Bonds. Will connect out. Yule Scepter, they're keeping Odi out of the fight. And the big rune, they're holding him there. But the damage, you'll drop the hammer for the bash again. He's still doing his work. No tail. This Timber Saw, he's the man doing the damage until Anna. No, it's a lockdown. You actually have the fight going the way of OG! A buyback will come out from Ramsey's Warlock. Solo is on the run. No tell won't go the correct direction. But OG, they got the fight they were begging for, they were praying for. He stuns up too, and they move up. Upheaval tries to slow him down. OG, are they really going to be the first team to claim an inside building? Keep the Chakrams up, keep Solo down, Fatal Bonds will connect him, the tier 3 tower will fall. OG, how much more do you think you can go for? The melee rack takes a little bit of a chip. Tana, he really wants to finish this, he's gonna do it. Ramsey prepares the concoction, it'll fly out, but OG, they've done the damage, they got what they wanted. One fight can change it all for you. That's Aegis. Look at Jirax's position. 40 seconds. He waited in the tree line, now they jump forward. That damage from No Tail, defensive improvement from No One. It's committed, and Anna feels this is the opportunity. The Rock will drop a double stun. Now the BKB, Anna moves in deep. He'll be dueled up. They'll hold him there, but of course the E-Blade pop. They can't finish the job. The Odi Aussie will pop, will pop, but it only triggers the Aegis of the Immortal. Legion Commander in the meantime has lost his life. The Yule Scepter keeping Enchantress out of the fight. Anna is the main man sticking to objective-based gaming, trying to bring down this Rax. If he can find a hero as well, he'll take that. But Lil, he's finding the damage. S4 triggers off the cheese, has the Cello Grave as well, but Virtus Pro they are repelling the invading OG until in comes No Tail. The Sharkrams will miss once again, but no one. Another defensive imprisonment forced out. The Fatal Bonds will connect him up, making No Tail thing twice. Back into the bottom lane, concoction. Alchemist will stun himself. Okay, no one. Again, has to be the saving grace, but while he's down, Anna takes out the bottom melee racks. Oh, Anna beating down Roshan. As far as vision goes, there's actually nothing that helps OG. There's one ward watching the lane, but around the pit, not a lot to work with. And here comes Virtus Pro into the pit. They start the duel. The rock is decent, but no tell. Plus T-Rex, the perfect rooting. The duel. Pasha is gone. Enchantress is gone. They're pushing onto S4. Alchemist needs to do more work, but he can't finish the job. Defensive imprisonment. No one's not even part of this fight. Ramses will die. No one will blink out, but three heroes down. Only one has buyback. And that's the Alchemist, Roshan belongs to OG. But Jirax, he's not done yet. He continues the chase, looking towards Solo. The orb damage is also giving the Intel steal while pushing up the top lane. They need to create more space. Blink's already been used. Force, TP, the Yule Scepter. No one is stuck, he's trapped. 
defensive imprisonment. Blink Dagger off cooldown right now. They know where he's gonna go and no tell. Chains him through, canceling the Blink Dagger, forcing the buyback already. Regeneration, not what he wants, but BT's in. Here comes Arno. Yep, he's the man on the front lines. Where is that duel? Bash is looking for it. In they jump, the duel is out. The orb damage is on Anna. They're gonna bring him down pretty low, but the Shallow Grave is keeping him alive. There's all the intel stolen up. They're still fighting, but you've lost the Legion Commander. Aegis Immortal will trigger. So Troll Warlord back to the world, living in a second. A quick little push away. No one needs to keep the damage going. He doesn't have the Eclipse. Too many are falling right now. But Vanus Pro, no one back in the fight, but the whole stop from S4. He's caught them. Three down. This could be the enchilada right now. Anna focusing on the racks. He will fall. Lil is doing the work. OG are pushed back. They hold the rage racks. No tail is going to buy back. He has 14 seconds cooldown on travels. They're going to buy they back know control it. as well. They, they know have it's the now. buyback advantage. They know it's now. I can't believe VP held that, but the buybacks are on cooldown. This will be Megas and more likely the end of the, the second rock. He bought Refresher Orb. Screw the Aghanim Scepter. He just needed a second rock. If he can live, he may not be able to. The Chakrams are killing him off. No tail will watch maniacally as Solo has to run back to his fountain. And here they come. Stampede, jump forward, catch out Lil. The rocks will drop, but they just don't have the damage to repel OG. Vertus Pro call it. GG. OG will be claimed for time. Dota 2 major winners here in Kiev. Towards Roshan, he's down to 3.5k. Spectral Haunt is up, and X Nova. Here comes your Spectral Haunt to the front lines. Thompson using the clone inside, and the Echo Jurax. He got the jump, the perfect hit. Thompson's got the double kill. They've just got the numbers. That's what happens when you can clone yourself. FY, he's trapped inside the cogs, but his OG will willingly trapped in there with him. LGD in real trouble. Anna has the double kill. The buyback comes in from FY. Oh. That's problematic, but he's got the movement speed. Stunned up, Spark Ray's arriving. Now the Spectral Haunt comes out, looking for the target. Ame reveals himself, goes in to the big Terra Blade. Metamorphosis, while well, Anna finds the kill into X Nova. It's just a poor support, but everyone from LGD, they rotate over. They want the big kill. Anna goes over the trees, but the Global Silence makes it difficult to get the last bit of damage, and Anna just tanks through it. He'll get one kill before dying. Buybacks are available, but Ame, he'll Stunder, swapping the life with the clone of Thompson. And Charles is the man, dishing the damage. OG right behind Ame, gets the jump, finds the partner, Vision will not find a stun partner with no buyback, OG, they were really playing with fire, the Hex is out of the Terra Blade, Spectral Haunt looking for the front line attack, but that's why Somnus goes into the back line, oh, the BKB, they're into the back lines, Shaker, he's bouncing around, Hawk shot as she stuns on the way through, he has his gone, no buybacks available, have LGD done it, they're holding Anna, hold him in place, Chalice will find the damage, F5 will die for it, no really, Anna, is actually running away, but it won't stop Arme from blinking up, looking for the tier 3 tower. Two players left alive for OG, they're the big ones, however. It delays as much as they possibly can. And now the jump out, Hex. The boy in the bubble, Thompson able to be protected once again. Chalice, very, very low on mana. They have a lot, but Ame, he'll change the life with Anna. Thompson needs to be pushed away, able to do so. FY jumps onto the illusion only, so the hookshot won't be able to connect, but Anna, he needs to retreat. There's so much damage. Anna, 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 down. Buyback is available. They still have not taken the mid racks. OG are just trying to delay LGD for the moment. Five heroes around, the bubble is there, protecting the melee racks, Anna. Sunder! And FY once begin to Sunder, switches the life, Arme's back up to full health, but the damage from Thompson, it's good enough to kill up the main. Buyback is there, Thomas leaves forward, they just keep bunching them around, but they're still battling from inside the bubble. Pugna will come to the world, living LGD, they're going for the GG push, they're going after the tier four towers. OG, they have to hold the line, they have the numbers, Sebi from the side with a Dagon Arme, but no! Sunder is back up, it is there, Chalice will fall, they lose, the Enchantress, FY pushing around Anna, he's so low, can they get the die back on him? You bet your Nelly they can, Arme still very, very low, the blast will kill him off, but buyback, LGD want this now, LGD, or can they back enough? No, they're not, Terra Blade, BT's forward, the ball is up, Thompson needs to defend, X Nova very visible, you've got a very, very low life, Mirana, but OG, they can't find the target, X Nova, he's got the grip, he's got the control, he's got the kill, Thompson is down, but ES is up, Where the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. There's 
the play. Girax, the savior of OG. Looking for more chances now on the run. They tried to go for the GG push. They didn't get much more than this. And now look at him go. BT forward. Hit the stun. Nail the stun. Nail Chalice. Maybe not. Hex is up. Chalice still on the run. The Moonlight Shadow. It's like it never ends. It's the same with the donkey from Girax. This guy's an NBA all-star. Looking for the kill into Chalice. Another TP coming forward. Hookshot from FY. Gets involved in the fight. The Thompson will arrive. Hexing up onto FY. The leap out. The fissure is available. Is there a follow-up? Thompson is there. They push forward. They get the control and they're bringing FY down. LGD with four heroes who do not have buyback. OG, they are going to push. Only Pugna. Seb still Whoa. has his. It's getting nervous. They're the trying to go through. The there is a glyph. Thompson, Thompson and GRX. It sounds like a brand of victory. They'll come in through the mid, taking the tier 3 tower. Oh, they might be able to get the whole thing. They're going for tier 4s now. LGD, my how the tables are turned. OG are going for the tier 4s. Charles is there, defense. They will be up in just a second. The fortification, it buys time. The Hex is there from Charles, but now here comes Anna. He's on the front lines. Jirax leaping forward. All he has to do is create space for OG to do it, to get to the grand final of TIA. Tip him up, poor tip him over. The lead comes forward. They've got the control. X Nova, he'll go down. This is the game. LGD have nothing left. OG have done it. It goes the distance. It goes to three. The Illusion Army chasing him down, trapping him in the trees as he'll fall. OG, they've found two. They're up onto the high ground looking at this tier three tower. And look at this, they even used the Ag's tether on the Chen. So there's a Chen Ancient there adding oh. more help for them. Oh, look at this push they've got going. As the Rax now in trouble, Chalice jumps in, does get the primal split out, finds Jerax, Jerax is gone, FY goes in with the uppercut, Anna trying to clean out some of these primal split illusions and Jerax will buy back. He's coming in with a relocate, Seb being focused, but they're killing the primal split. It's only just down to the earth for the wind pan and the wind pan and getting himself away from the fighters. He will still survive, but they've got the vision. Can he escape in time? Chalice! Oh! Nearly dies during the primal split, but Chalice will survive. OG, what's the plan now? Do they want to just get out of here? Seb trying to get in position with his shadow blade. He's found he's Arme. Oh, Arme's in the peel of the motors. Arme just gets taken down. Dead for 50 seconds. Thompson being chased by Sumners. They've got the dust down. Thompson as well. X Nova picked up inside of the snowball. Thompson will fall. They'll find Anna too as LGD will hold despite Arme going down once again. Can they get Seb as well? Jarex is there at the side, but he does not have relocate available. There's no save for Seb. Did he just hold that snowball until the Aegis finish? Yeah. What? He <laughs> waited that whole time for it to get. That's that crazy. was. That was unbelievable. Oh my god. And effectively, at the end of the day, a full team wipe there by PSG LGD. Well, three primal split at the ready. Chalice on the high ground. OG got that ward down in time, and that's going to set up for Seb to find the jump. And fight comes in there with the snowball save. Keeps his team alive for now. They're rolling on Seb. Seb gets the blame on that. Turns to one challenge. Challenge. He, he gets the split off. Seb. He's got down. Jerex now focused as well by PSG LGD. They'll get the two of them. Seb's brought back. The chase for Somnus. On to no tail into the trees. Sets up for a double kill on the Bloodseeker. And Seb. He's been set up into the sky by Chalice's Cyclone. Seb gets the blink off. He's got the Shadow Blade to push in. Look for the stun on no tail to hold back the Chen as the mid racks are exposed. PSG LGD. 40 minutes in. Able to open into the base and clean out this mid lane of Rack. Still Anna holding on to that buyback. And they're going to keep going here. They really want to force this PL to come back here. Stun onto Thompson. He will blink dodge it. But another tier 3 tower falling incredibly fast. They really don't want to use it. Seb jumps in, gets the call onto FY. There's the buyback. The Cataclysm isn't enough to do anything. It isn't. PSG LGD still fighting strong. Thompson getting focused by Sumners. Seb taken down by Arme. The triple buybacks now. Azana in trouble. He's brought back for this one. The deafening blast onto the three of them. Knocks them back. But Anna gets focused. Seb oh, gets in there with the call. He has the control onto the morphing Sumners. Now being chased by Thompson. Picks in with the call snap. The PL is on top of it. They get some this too. Able to deward that ward in the mid lane, so it looks like they are going for a Roche fake out. Hey. Anna is on top of X Nova. The ghost steps gonna be the other set. Call. He's in the call, the EMP, the cannonball, and flies in. He's able to get the save off in time to keep this man alive. Chalice. It up. chalice is down. Bye back from X Nova and Chalice. FY with the Invis, Somnus looking to get involved. Post the BKB to get over the ice wall. They get on top of Sam. Sam's in trouble. Sam's gone. The axe down once again for 90 seconds. There's now FY giving them the vision, but they see him. 
You've got the doppelganger to jump away from the snowball. The snowball over to Tops into the self fuels. FY trying to buy time for the rest of LGD to come in again up into the air. Army straight on top of No Tail. FY will fall. Army looking towards No Tail. No Tail puts the hand of God, but No Tail beat it down by Army. And so this Chalice gets the primal split off of Zana. He's been left behind in Thompson. He's got to do something incredible in terms of the combo. Can he find the angle? Jarex coming in, keeping Anna alive. Anna with a doppelganger. The deafening blast comes out onto the two of the Anna trying to go in, looking for the kill. Can he find it in time? Onto X Nova. He's on top of him, trying to beat him down. Anna again with the doppelganger. Now retreating back towards the base. As X Nova will survive. Jarex back in the combo. Meatball down onto Chalice, but Chalice is so tanky. Boss the Shiva's gone. He's on top of Jarex. Jarex is gone. Anna as well. Can he really fight back He's against the Sumners? And X Nova is so low. As the buyback for Jarex comes in, he's healing Anna back up. That buyback could set them up for the kill on X Nova. The cold snap down onto the Ejection. They find him. Oh man, he's out of Banner. He's starting to shift into the strength, but he's surrounded. OG, can they find the ball? They can! OG is still in the game. Arme buys back immediately. Roshan's up. It looks like only OG knows. Oh, right Arme. Now. Heal battle. Anna. He's losing, losing action. Arme's getting caught out by the tornado, though. They've opened up onto him, Army trying to get on top of Anna. The BKB popped by Chalice, he'll get the ult out. No Tail getting gone on straight away by F5 with the snowboard. No Tail's dead for 100. Cool. They'll get the Chen, Anna in the midst of it, trying to lock down onto FY. The rest of his team about to come over to get the tornado. Out onto X over Sam. Looking for the cool control onto Arme. Has he got it? Arme getting stunned up by the cold snap, and he's able to wait for him up the high ground. Thompson blinks in. He gets the hex out with F5 with the snowball save. They get the bash out. Sonus will be able to find the IO, but they're fully low OGD. That's Sonus there for two minutes. They get Thompson. Thompson there for two minutes. Only Anna. Anna, can he do it here? He's at half health save. Tap the call. Lifetime as three dead now on LGD. No buyback goes doppling forward. He gets the jump onto X Nova. The ghost set to keep an X Nova fine for now. Anna looking to turn his commitment towards Arme. Thompson comes in with a deafening blast from the side. The EMP finishes X Nova off. He's dead for 110. Step post the BKB looks for the cool control onto FY, but FY does get the snowball off in time. Arme looking at Thomas Jarrett, but Thompson turns. They get the hex out onto him. He'll get us back into the ball. Okay. The BKB's out in time as Arme. Cuts down no tail with a wave for finds the kill. Anna looking to get on top of Arme. The BKB's about to wear off. The Mega Crease beating down upon the agent of OG. Set in again. The call on top of Arme. Arme dead for two minutes. It's Chalice. BKB pop, and he's trying to commit, trying to deal with Anna being silenced by the blood right, but the ancient is falling, the, the hex is down. out, they're going to be able to find themselves, challenge three dead on LGD, OG hitting the ancient, hitting the ancient, oh, we're going to a game five!